protection inside of Rafah requires the evacuation of the civilian population from the combat zones. That is why the prime minister directed the Israeli defense establishment to bring to the cabinet a dual plan for both the evacuation of the population and for the disbanding of the battalions. Now, this comes after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke Wednesday night and vowed that the operation in Rafah would be imminent. And it comes after strikes on Thursday hit the southern Palestinian city, intense bombardment resulting in the deaths of multiple Palestinians. This is something the Israelis have been reiterating for months now, that they are going to operate in Rafah. So the information is not exactly new, but what is new is that he has asked both the army and the defense establishment to present this plan to the cabinet on how they are going to move forward with operations operating inside of Rafah on the ground. But the big question here is where are these Palestinians supposed to go? They haven't been allowed back to the north. This is something that has been discussed. There's been pressure on Israel by the Americans to perhaps let the Palestinians go back to the north. But there is nothing to go back to. A majority of those buildings, those homes, have been destroyed. So the Israelis are saying that they're going to evacuate more than half of the population. You're talking about around a million and a half Palestinians who've been forced to flee their homes multiple times and ending up in Rafah, which the Israeli army had designated as a safe zone. And it is also worth noting that this is not the first time the Israeli army is planning to attack an area that they have deemed a safe zone for Palestinians. So a lot of unanswered questions still on how the Israeli army is going to go about this plan and what sort of timeline, how long is this evacuation plan of theirs going to be? And Hamda, we've heard criticism from the U.S. president talking about Israel's war as over the top. What kind of reaction are we getting from Israeli officials to that? There hasn't been any Israeli reaction to the president's remarks, but we've also heard from the State Department saying that an operation inside of Rafah would be disastrous. We've also heard from the national security spokesperson, John Kirby, who said that the Americans would not support this military operation where there are around a million and a half Palestinians seeking refuge inside of Rafah. But again, the Israelis have said time and time again that they were going to enter Rafah. The Israeli army spokesperson had said months ago that wherever the Israeli army identifies a target, they are going to strike. And he singled out Rafah. He said that they were going to go there, not if, but just a matter of when. So